If you're computer savvy, have strong technical skills, and are detail oriented, then you may enjoy working as part of a team of innovative professionals in the computer science field. Let's meet a software developer. Hi, I'm Viviana. Hi, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. My name is Sam Mengesha. I'm a software developer in Victoria, BC, and work for BC government. I develop and maintain application, troubleshoot technical issues, work with different colleagues, and research and evaluate new technologies for implementation. We work in a team and we serve different uh, clients. We create an application for their business. I write the code, test the code, test the application, evaluate and then recommend for the implementation. I come into office and first thing is prioritize different projects. It could be a new feature or it could be a bug or it could be a technical issue. As a key part of this job, you will be working with uh, different application programming interfaces or APIs. I open my development environment and then test the code. And once the application is tested and, and evaluated, then it's ready for uh, use for the uh, clients. I'm coming from a, a science background, and in science you analyze and solve problems, and for that you need tools. So programming is one of the tools that I've found interesting, and so I chose programming as a career. So do you work a typical nine to five here? Uh, yeah, I usually work from uh, from eight to four. Sometimes I work uh, extra hours, and then I can take uh, a day off in uh, every two weeks. Work extra and get a day off every two weeks. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. It's a very, very flexible environment, so we can work also from home. It, it varies from company to, to company. In this field, you start a junior programmer and then you proceed into intermediate and then from there, senior developer. Or you could be an architect or a solution developer. There are a number of ways you can, you can progress. To do this job, one needs training in computer programming. So it could be a college training or it could be a, a university degree in a computer science. It's a very dynamic uh, environment. One needs to be constantly learning. You can learn new language, new skills. Could be self-taught or it could be a, a course given by some vendors. Right now I'm using C Sharp, so that's a language that I'm using to develop the applications. These look like a lot of symbols to me, like maybe even a formula. Do you have to be really good with numbers to be able to code? Yeah, I think you have to have uh, numeric skills. Maybe you have an issue, use some formulas to solve those problems. To be a programmer, one needs to be detailed and systematic. Go line by line and see where the issue is. You are developing an application according to specification and you need to test it and make it bug free. You are given an issue and that's a problem and you need to analyze that problem. It could be a new feature that the client wants, or it could be a technical issue. For that, one needs to have that problem solving and analytical skills. For somebody interested in, in this career, I would advise to start it early, maybe in high school. Focus on maths, take uh, courses, join college and maybe do a co-op. There are uh, new features, new techniques. One needs to be on top of the uh, technology. <laughs> Programming is a very dynamic and growing field and there are a lot of uh, opportunities. Everything digital that you see has to be written by somebody programmer sitting behind a, a computer. Producing something that uh, somebody wants is, is very rewarding. Sam, thank you so much for having me. I had no idea your career was so involved. Once again, I'm Viviana with Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.